Hi, my name is Bailey Allenbach and I'm a certified sleep consultant and the owner of Midnight Mama Sleep Consulting. I love sleep. I love to teach parents about sleep, to get their babies sleeping well and through the night. And I primarily work with kids in the zero to five year age range. I really found my passion in sleep training and sleep consulting when I had my son four years ago and he didn't sleep well. I reached out for help and I realized that sleep consulting was something I wanted to do. So today I'm gonna to teach you about awake times versus tired cues and how to know when to follow what. An awake time is classified as the amount of time that your child has between rest periods. So when they wake up in the morning, they have an awake time before they nap in the afternoon or in the morning again. And then they'll have an awake time between naps and then another awake time before bedtime. These awake times have ranges and these ranges are determined by your baby's age. So the younger a baby is, the smaller their range is, and the older your baby or your toddler is, the larger their awake time range is. So you'll want to pay attention to your baby's age and their range so that you're sure that when you're putting them down to sleep, they're actually tired enough to go to sleep and they're not overtired. The general awake time for the first two months of your baby's life would be anywhere between 45 and 60 minutes. This is the only awake time that they can tolerate in between rest periods. They are tired little humans and they need rest to learn and to grow and just to adjust to their surroundings. As your baby gets a little older in the three month age range, we're looking at about an hour and a half of awake time. Between four and five months, this is where things start to shift. So their awake time is between two hours to two and a half hours. And the older they get, the longer their awake time will be. Around six months old, this is where things kind of even off and steady off. So their awake time will be anywhere from two and a half hours in the morning to three and a half hours in the afternoon. And this is appropriate for any baby who's in the six to 12 month age range. After 12 months old, we're looking at either a, a short two nap schedule or a one nap schedule. So your baby can tolerate usually four and a half to five hours of awake time. And that would mean you have four and a half or five hours of awake time before the nap. And then you have that same amount of awake time after their nap before bedtime. Toddlers who are still napping once a day, but they're getting close to that two or three year mark, their awake time is between five and six hours. So you'll see that these awake times are really a range and you would never want a three month old baby to be awake for five hours at a time. So this is where tired cues come into play. Your child will demonstrate different tired cues to indicate that they are getting ready to sleep. Some of these tired cues could be yawning, it could be having red rimmed eyes or getting red eyebrows, it could be doing a seven mile stare where they're just staring off into the distance, they could be rubbing their eyes, getting irritable or even starting to cry. There are other tired cues but these are just some of the main ones. When you notice that your child is giving off tired cues, I also want you to pay attention to the clock. How much time has it been since your baby woke up from their last rest period? If it has not been enough time, then I want you to encourage them to stay awake a little bit longer. Sometimes we do this by doing a stimulating activity. So we could turn a TV on or use a, a tablet, or if your child is very young, it's a good time to have a chat with them. So put them in your lap and just talk with them and, and make them laugh and coo. But if they are very irritable, you just put them right to bed. The thing with following the awake time and also the tired cues is that sometimes these don't totally line up. Sometimes your child will show tired cues before they're actually ready to go to bed. I know personally, I yawn throughout the day and it doesn't mean I'm immediately ready for a nap. So some babies will start to show their self-soothing skill. So maybe they grab a blankie and put it up against their face or they start thumb sucking or finger sucking and you're like, oh, that's their tired cue. They do that in their crib. I'm just gonna put them down right now. And if we are to do that, whenever they show those tired cues, we're looking at a really short nap schedule because your baby's going to bed under tired, meaning they're not ready to sleep yet. So they will possibly fall asleep, but the, they might only last one sleep cycle between 30 and 45 minutes, and then they're up again and they need to be up for a full awake time again before napping. So you'll want to pay attention to their awake time and also their tired cues to determine when that next rest period should be. And that is your dream money spot.